Community Center. Now that's an impressive building. Clock Tower is impressive too. I haven't been on stage like this since elementary school. I'm not some tree in the wind this time, either. Well, that was a tough role. I was a piece of scenery. Bright red tree. <clears throat> Thank you all for coming today. Getting right down to business. Agent Morgan from the Federal Bureau of Investigations wishes to speak with you. Good afternoon. I'm Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Some of you are already aware by now of the tragic murder of Anna Graham. Truly a heinous, terrible crime. I've come to this town to solve the murder of this young, beautiful girl. And to bring the one responsible to justice. <laughs> Incidents like these have a tendency to never happen again. I ask to have you gathered here so I can share some advice in order to minimize the risk of further fatal incidents. Firstly, please stay away from any dark, dangerous, isolated places. Those of you with children, especially your honest age, Please. Secondly, avoid going out when it is raining. Now There is a chance that the murderer is mimicking the story. Women should also be especially careful. I would hate to see more victims. said, avoid going outside when it is raining. Young women should be especially careful. Report anything or anyone suspicious immediately. The murderer will be caught and brought to justice. But you must all remain on guard until we do so. That's all I have to say. Thank you. sins we must not frown. The loss of Anna was for that debt. When purple fog covers our town, we'll all wander in hell, my friend. So says Mr. Stewart. Sure no 
knows how to steal thunder. Well then, Zack, let's ask some questions before all these guys leave. Agent York, your words really made me think about Anna's death again. How could one do such a terrible thing? I'm still in shock. Thomas, I forgot to ask. You don't have a tattoo on your back, do you? A uh, tattoo? Well, I do, actually. But why? Could you show it to me, please? What? Now? Here? Yes, please. This is vital for our investigation. Okay, if it's gonna help you any. <sighs> well, I'm wondering who G is now, but aside from that... Did it tell you anything? It told me that you didn't kill Anna. Of course not. What are you saying? You want to see that tattoo, Zack? A big heart with an arrow through it and love G in the center. I don't know when he got that done, but we've all been through the 80s. Quite a performance. Mysterious and very poetic. But I don't think many of your audience appreciated it. Mr. Francis York Moore. The purple fog appears with rain, soiling and ruining our town. The evil does not drain. Find out why the town is soiled. Remove the source from which it boiled. Then and only then, your case is solved. But for this to happen, to solve the crime, So says Mr. Stewart. So, Harry, you know something. But there's some reason why you can't tell me yet. Is that what you're trying to say? Not the poetic rubbish, Harry, and tell us what you know. We can force you to talk, you know. Mr. Francis York Moore. Pay close attention to the signs, the omens, and the premonitions. Small they may be, they still are finds, and helpful to your investigations. So says Mr. Stewart. Thanks for the warning, Harry. But don't worry. Me and Zack, we know what we're doing. So you're the FBI agent, are you? I'm FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. I'm the General. I fought for country in the Vietnam War. A real-life war hero. 
So why are you living here? Soldier, this is my hometown. After a man returns from war, there's no place to go other than home. So, finding your way around okay? Yes, pretty much. But some people are hard to get along with. <laughs> people problems, huh? I thought city folks were used to things like that. There's lots more people in the city than there are here. Well, that's true. But I started simplifying things a bit. Here's my new way of thinking. It's simple, really. There's only three types of people. Criminals, victims, and investigators. Everyone else are just... vegetables. Vegetables called other people. You really are strange. Quint, you're here too. I didn't think you were the town meeting kind of guy. A friend of mine was killed, you know, man? I'm not letting this one go quietly, or I'll do anything to help you catch the scumbag who did this. Thank you. But vigilance is not justice. Nothing good will come from desiring simple revenge. Oh, come on, I'm not that stupid. But I'm frustrated a bit just thinking that there's nothing I can do about it. We each have a role, purpose in life, a raison d'etre. Don't forget that. I know, I know. Just don't preach to me. You're sounding like my old man. Zack, wow. I'm in shock like a weasel in an electric chair. You just made me realize that I must be getting old. Good evening, Agent. Good evening, Mr... Brian, the gravekeeper. <clears throat> Brian. Mr. Brian. I like the retro look. Auditioning for Little Grave on the Prairie? Anna. Oh, she was so beautiful. Too soon. Mm. Too, too soon to go to the grave. So sad. So sad. I totally agree. That's why I'm here. Looking for the one who did it. Were you close to her? Mm. Anna. <laughs> her smile. So warm. Anna, blonde hair, so bright. There's a graveyard somewhere in town, Zack. I'm not excited about the idea, but maybe we should at least check it out. Anna was an airhead. What do you mean? Are you saying she was killed because she was an airhead? Or are you saying that she was an airhead for being killed? I'm sure she's still an airhead even in heaven. She changed her hair every day. If she lost a pound, she'd be ecstatic. Gain one and she'd almost be in tears. She broke many, many plates every day at the diner. And she'd always have a smile on her face. Always having fun. Everyone looked at her and knew she was a cute, adorable, loving airhead. But they would be smiling right along with her. I wouldn't be surprised if the angels smiled with her too. <laughs> Isaac and Isaiah said that Anna was a fairy of the forest. A goddess.
Can you tell me if you noticed anything strange about Anna before the incident? Well, I'm not sure if this will be of any help, but... Anything, no matter how small, could be of help. Well, you see, the diner closes when it rains. Many shops do that around here, as you might have heard. Anyway, Anna always seemed unfocused the day after it rained, and came in late, too. It was almost as if she used up all her energy the day before. Come to think of it, that was really strange. Did that legendary monster really kill her? It wasn't a monster. Just a criminal. A criminal I'm going to catch and bring to justice. I'm U.S. Special Agent Francis York Morgan. I presume you are the owner of the diner that Anna worked at? That's right. I'd like to ask you a few questions about Anna Graham. Did you notice anything strange about her prior to the incident? <laughs> Nick, are you hiding something? No, nothing. You sure? I'm sorry, but I don't like repeating myself. I'm FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please, call me York. Wesley, owner of the gun store called Panda Bear. People around here call me the gunsmith. Was there something you want to ask me? How do you make a living running a gun store in a place like this? I'd be worried because there can't be that many customers. Worry gives a small thing a big shadow. I do gunsmith work in my shop, too. If you got the skills, the customers find you. All you need is a network. I hope so. You've got quite a selection here. No wonder people come from all around. Even today, a customer paid me to go to Seattle for some help. I just got back. I see. Well, I'll be sure to visit your store sometime. I'd like for you to take a look at my gun. Understood. Look forward to it. The shop will be open again tomorrow. It's usually open from 2000 to 0600. See you then. Hey, Lily. Agent York, your speech frightens some of us a little. You should work on being more sensitive with words when talking to groups. Really? I tried my best to be gentle. So, have you noticed anything strange or out of place recently? Hmm. Just Becky, really. She works part-time at the store. She's been acting strange recently. Strange? How? I took the boys along to visit her house today. I was just worried, you know, because she hasn't come into work at all after that incident. But she took in the boys and told me to wait outside. Something about a special secret between just the three of them. I just couldn't understand it. Now that's interesting. Thank you, Lily. Perhaps we should give Becky a visit tomorrow, Zach. Hey, York! You were rocking it large up there! Was I? I haven't been on stage like that since elementary school. You made me think, man, like, things can't go on like this. We need, like, some action or something. I was pretty psyched up, you know, before you got on stage. I was like, dude, a real psycho in town. Pretty sweet gig. But now, I mean, dude, that lunatic could be any one of us, man. I don't want to think of that whack job coming after my family. Makes me shudder all over, man. It was way too heavy. You'll catch him. Right, FBI? Of course. But you need to be able to take care of those you love, too. You're right, man. Right on the level. I need to do what's right for my family, man. You lit my soul, man. Thanks, FBI.
Mr. Morgan, you're quite an impressive public speaker. Really? Thank you, Polly. You reminded me a little of a play I saw when I was younger. What kind of play? I'm talking about back when this place was still called the Mercury Theater. When I was young, I used to come here often with my husband. God rest his soul. We'd come on the weekend to see the latest play. He'd always pretend to be uninterested. But I could tell he was excited inside. He was just one of those kind of guys, really, thinking about it now. Really, Polly? So what's your favorite play? Oh, well, I like so many. There was one in particular, but I can't recall the name anymore. Oh, it was a very famous one, too. Something by Shakespeare? Oh, um... No, nothing. One more bell that doesn't ring anymore. I've always been forgetful about the plays we used to see anyway. Oh, and my husband would get angry at me for forgetting what we saw. He'd go on for hours retelling what the play was about. His eyes were so sparkling, like a happy young boy. I see. So, what's your favorite play? Oh, I almost forgot, Mr. Morgan. We're going to have another guest soon. I have to get back and get things ready. Sorry for having to hurry away. I'll see you back at the hotel. Zack, I think she could embarrass the toughest of the FBI's interrogators. She successfully avoided answering my question, Zack. Amazing. Getting cold. Hey, mister, my pot is getting cold. You are who? What are you saying? I'm Sigourney. Sigourney. Sigourney, okay. Now, what is the matter? Can you explain? No time for chatting. I need to hurry. My pot is getting colder. Oh, you're useless. Zack, we've met all sorts today, but really, she takes the cake. Amazing. I've nothing to say to you. I haven't asked you anything yet, Jack. Shut it! I might open up if you introduce me to, I don't know, a Ben Franklin or two. <laughs> oh, what a creature. Guess there's always someone like him in every town. Hello again, Agent York. How are you? Good, thanks. And you? Oh, I'm feeling pretty good today. Well, that's good to hear. Do you have any information that could help me out? Information? Sounds difficult and not my kind of conversation. Anyways, you should come by the gas stand again. I'll give you the best service in town. Zack, perhaps you can tell me. Why did she bother coming here? Jim. Thanks for your help in the forest. How are Isaac and Isaiah? They're fine. They really seem to love their grandpa. Well, I guess they do, son. I want to keep them away from the filth of the material world as much as I can. Their mother agrees, which is why she lets me take care of them so often. And that's why I want you to solve this case quickly and go home. Those rumors about that scar of yours do more damage than good around here. I guess I reek of the material world, don't I? I have to, in order to do my job. But I understand what you mean. I'd think the same if I was born in a place like this, Zack.
Agent Morgan, I'd like to let everyone go home now. Let's go outside. Thank you.